guys, it's your girl Chris Corio here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've been MIA for just a little bit, a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the Christmas as much as I did and a happy, happy, happy new year to you and I wish you every bit of success and positivity in your life this entire new year and onward, of course, but specifically for this one because we are living in the here and now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So for those of you who are new to my channel, hi. What's up? I am Chris Corio, aka Christina Gonzalez. Yes, that's my government name. I'm a physiotherapist licensed, a personal trainer, and I'm also a sensual dance workshop facilitator, meaning I teach women how to dance sexy, yeah man. No, of a show off the good, good things them for them man, them woman, and you know, for themselves. <laughs> okay, guys. So for those of you who are unawares, because you're probably living under a rock, and that's okay, if you live under a rock, it's fine. Every now and then you have to come up for air, right? So, <laughs> if you live like under a rock and you didn't know, soccer season is upon us. Soccer season is upon us. We have first and foremost Trinidad Carnival, which is gonna be happening uh, between February 20th and the 21st, and your girl Chris Corio is going for the very first time. For those of you who are like, what the very first time, Chris Corio, no! I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. But you know what? During the pandemic, I was just brought to the appreciation, as I'm sure many of us were, that you know, life is so short. And even though I have traveled in the past, most of the times I used to just travel to like, if it's coming out of my own pocket, I'd travel to like the United States or anywhere that I feel like there's like an opportunity for work. Um, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. There can be work in the Caribbean, I know, because I work in the Caribbean, I know this guys. It's just that my mind was closed, okay? And my mind is opening up again, okay? So this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bearing my soul. Don't go crazy in the comments. So anyway, I just thought to myself, Chris, You've never been to Trinidad for Carnival. Girl, you're making money now because if y'all didn't know, I graduated with a degree in physiotherapy and I'm actually making proper money now. So I used to just kind of live off of a dancer's salary, which can be good, you know, when it's good. But I'm making money now, right? So, <laughs> so I was able to purchase my own ticket. I purchased my costume. My accommodations are set. Like last night, I settled my, my, um, my makeup. So I'm going to be doing makeup when I'm in Trinidad, but when I'm there, I'll vlog about it and I'm not gonna do any plugs right now because I'm gonna get paid from nobody. So when I'm there, I'll let you guys know. Um, but the band that I'm going to be with, I can tell you guys this one, is Rogue. Rogue, which is a child of tribe, which is a huge band in Trinidad. So I know in Trinidad there's Yuma and then there's tribe and then um, Rogue falls on the tribe is what I understand. Um, so I've been to Trinidad before for like a band launch for Rogue and I just thought, you know what, let me be loyal to these people. I always love their costumes, their concepts are always very interesting. This year it's very outer space, like robots, aliens coming to the earth and you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that Chris Corey is all about the drama, I'm all about the theatrics. So <laughs> So I'm definitely going to be rogue on the road. So you can follow my progress right here on YouTube and on my Instagram channel, which I'm gonna be dropping right here. Yeah. All right, guys, so whining. This is a whining tutorial. Get on some booty shorts. Make sure you have something that, you know, bears a little bit of hip. So nothing that's too tight up here. Um, if you have belly chains, I've got belly chains here. These belly chains, I got this one from a friend. I'm gonna link her information below. The other three are from my sister Nyla. I can also link her information below. So those are my belly chains. Okay, endorsed. So let's get into the tutorial. Remember, it's not a live video. It's recorded, pre-recorded, and posted, uploaded to YouTube, so you can rewind it. You can slow down the video by clicking the speed. There's a speed feature right over here, right? You can utilize that. A lot of persons did not know that it was there, but when it comes down to dance tutorials, it has helped me, and I know it will help you. So use that speed button there, that the playback speed is right down here. One thing I'm All gonna right, say, so because Chris Corio does not yet have a producer creating music or rhythms for her beautiful tutorials. We don't reach that point just yet. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, I want you to play your favorite soca music or soca beats in the background. I invite you to even use African beats if you want to. And if you're that girl who can do it to dance all, you can go ahead and do that. So, simple, just take a deep breath in and breathe out, relax the body. 
Move the hips from side to side, just twist, just relax and find a nice comfortable space. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the ankles, jiggle the knees, move the hips from side, from twisting is what I'm doing. And then you're just gonna push them from side to side. Push, 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 push. This is really just a warm up, yeah? Just get the heart rate up. I find that once the hips are warm, we can do a nice smooth one, okay? So I'm gonna turn to the side, same tempo, front back. And if it helps as well, I'm gonna move right into a knee high. So lifting the knees. So still warming up the hip area. And then I'm gonna lift the legs to the side, just like so. So just opening those hips, yeah? And you know what? Even if you're not going to Trinidad Carnival, this is beautiful for opening the hips. It really is. So I use a lot of these exercises. I'm gonna kick back now. I use a lot of these exercises in my sensual programs just to let women get in touch with their pelvis area, the center of our being, what makes us women. Yeah. <laughs> so all of these I use to warm them up. All right, so now we're gonna slow it down. Take a deep breath in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. We're gonna push slowly to the right and then to the left. So here we go. And what I want you to also think about is relaxing the knees. So at no point am I just pushing side to side or relaxing the knees. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. You can put the hands on the hip. Push and hold it there. And again, push. Excellent. Push. And again, one, two, three. And again. Excellent, and again. Good, give me another set. And another. Good, now we're gonna push it a little bit more, but relaxing the knees even more. So a while ago I just had a slight bend in the knee. Now I'm doing a much, much deeper knee bend, and I'm going to push the hips here. And what you find, the deeper you go, is the more demand will be on the flexibility of the hips. And so, if at any point in time you feel like you need to stick to one side to stretch out that hip a little bit more, go ahead and stretch it out. Because our aim is to have our wine as fluid and sexy and moonshiny as possible. All right, so here we go. Push and push. Let's hold it for about three counts. Two, one, and again, three, two, one, and again, three, two, one, and again, three, two, one. Give me two more, so that's one on this side. And again, three, two, one, and this side again. Three, two, one, last time, two, one. And shake out the hands, shake out the hands. I want you to continue to do that deep breath in and breathe out. The next movement we're gonna be doing, still in the basic movement area, is just bring the hips under, tuck the hips under, and push the hips back. Tuck the hips under, and push them back. And if I turn to the side, this is what it looks like. Bring the hips under, hold it for about three counts, and bring the hips back. And again, push it under, and back, all right? Now, if you notice, I'm, I'm trying my best to maintain the breath throughout, right? And I'm also trying to hit the movements as fluid as possible. So the breath and fluidity go hand in hand. So at any point in time, if you feel that you're not breathing, you will start, I guarantee, you'll start to feel really stiff. So if you start to feel stiff and frustrated and flustered, just take a deep breath in. Hold it for about four counts and then breathe out, all right? So I'm trying to teach you how to whine in a sexy, sensual way, all right? This is exactly what we do in the workshops, but I want you to learn this for Trinidad Carnival. Yes, ma'am. So here we go with that movement. So I'm gonna turn my back and we're gonna go under, holding it for three counts, and back, holding it for three counts, all right? So here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Relax those knees, 
two, three, and back. One, two, three. Deep breathing in and breathe out. And again, breathe in and out. And again, breathe in and out. Good. And again, breathe in and out. Give me two more. Breathe in and out. One more set. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, so relax. So now we're going to move into moving to the side, pushing back, side, and forward. Okay? I feel like you can do this. I feel like you can do this. So we're still in the basic area, still doing basic stuff. Okay? Be gentle with yourself. Remember to breathe. Here we go. And relax the knees again. Side. Back. Side. Forward. Relax. We're going to hit to the opposite side now. Ready? <laughs> I know you are. Relax the knees. We go side. Back. Side. Forward. Relax the knees. Ready? We're going to do that four times on the right side and then the left. So here we go. Three, two, one. Relax the knees. And one, two, three, four. Again, two, two, three, four. Again, third one, two, three, four. Fourth one, one, two, three, four. And now we're going to the opposite direction. So relax the knees, shake them out a little bit. Are you ready? Here we go. Bend those knees, side, back, side, forward. Good, two. And three, breathe, remember to breathe, four. Relax those knees, okay? So that's the basic wine. So now we're going to move into intermediate movements and I hope you're ready. You can pause the video and go over this little warm up, AKA the basic segment if you want to. See you in the intermediate section. Okay. So now we've arrived at the intermediate segment of our winding tutorial. So what we're focusing on now, being that we've already done the warm up, we know the four points, side, back, side, front. <laughs> now that we know those four points, we're gonna mix them, match them, smooth them, melt them together like honey. So all I want you to be focusing on is the control, the breathing, the sensuality of it all. All right, so, Place your feet about shoulder width apart. You don't have to get into a big dramatic bend in the knees. Just slightly relax those knees. And I want you to take some deep breaths in. And breathe out. And again, deep breath in. And breathe out. And while you're doing this, I want you to think to yourself, you're breathing in positive energy and you're breathing out negative energy. Self-doubt, what's that? We don't know what that is. We can do this. All right, so here we go. Relax those knees, shimmy those hips. We're hipping to the side first, then to the back, side and front. So here we go. Breathe in. Back, side and forward. Relax, other side. Side, back, side, forward. So now that we have that basic melt, I want us to do eight counts to this side. And while you're doing the eight counts, I want you to feel your body relaxing and melting from the head top, right down to the chin, to the neck, to the chest, to the navel, to the, right down to the toes. All right? So here we go. Eight counts here, eight counts rotating there. So here we go. Three, two, one. And one, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, and eight. 
relax, come out of it. We're going to the next side, are you ready? <laughs> Mesmerizing, I know this. So let's go to the opposite side. And one thing I wanna encourage you to do, if you're still not feeling the control, I invite you to put the hands on the hip, if that helps, and just feel for the, the hip bones. For some of us, it's easy to find. So for example, if I just do that, and I lean back like this, you see my hip bone poking out. You can see my hip bone, right? I hope I'm not exposing myself. <laughs> and then for some of us, we may be a little bit on the thicker side, T-H-I-C-C, -C, thicker side, yes ma'am. That's okay, just find those two points where you feel that your hips are, that's, that's more than like where the hip is. You may have to dig in, that's fine. Dig into those love handles, girl, they're yours. Love them up, right? And then just hold on to them, put the palms on them, feel the heat from the palms, and just get into that nice sensual wine. You get me? So here we go. Three, two, one. Lego, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now something interesting is happening, happening with my entire body and I'm pretty sure you've picked it up. So the more I get into this trance-like movement, this sexy, whining, sensual flow, my feet are not just staying stagnant like... See, even if I try to do it, <laughs> I can't because my entire body dances when I whine. So even when I have on my shoes, my heels, one thing I always tell persons, practice this on the floor. Feel your toes gripping the ground, gripping the earth. That's very African. It's very much in keeping with the ancestors. So in Jamaica, we have a kumina dance that is danced. <laughs> well, of course the dance is danced, but it's danced whenever persons are celebrating life. So if a person passes away, it's like a wake ceremony that is done. And then there are big drums that are played, big boodoom, 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 boodoom. And then the hips will start to move just like that. It's very subtle, very regal, very sexy. And a lot of Jamaican whining comes from kumina. And so the modern version of kumina, in my opinion, is the, what is referred to as cool and deadly. That's my opinion, right? That's just from learning about kumina in school and then seeing dancehall culture and hearing about the cool and deadly wine, it comes from that subtle regality, you know, that regality of just the kumina dance, which is here, right? So there are a lot of people who say, boy, Jamaicans don't wine like they used to. I'm not gonna lie, this is true. We're focusing more on becoming human helicopters and dropping on the floor and becoming human wheelbarrows and being crazy. And that's fine, it's a part of the culture, it's a beautiful part of the culture. I'm not gonna comment any further on that. So <laughs> but, but I want you to think about grounding the feet into the floor, right? So from the ball of the foot, right down to the tippy toes, right into the heel, everything here is just a part of your body. So like take a second right now and just, just feel the floor. Feel the floor, it could be tiled floors, it could be, an exercise mat like what I'm on, or you could be outside with your friends on the grass learning this and having fun. I love that for you, right? Just feel the earth, the energy. Human beings, you know what I read somewhere? We are made up of the same stuff that surrounds us, just in different forms. So thus, once a man, you'll go back to the earth and just become the earth again. It, it has so much meaning because we're all different forms of the same energy, if that makes any sense to you. Comment below. I will want to discuss this below. <laughs> so anyway, when you grip the floor, when I grip the floor and I'm able to, it just gives me a different type of energy, a different type of vibe when I'm doing my dancing. So just really feel that out for a little bit. And I'm talking a lot because I'm very energized and excited about this particular topic, communicating and just feeling the ground. So I want you to take a moment and enjoy that. All right, so <laughs> now that you've enjoyed being energized by the floor, gripping the ground, we're gonna continue. So what I want you to think about now in this hair intermediate segment of the tutorial is shifting the weight from side to side. So I'm gonna do, for example, four, three, two, one, right? Now, if you don't have 
the strength in the knees to sustain you with such a, a sharp bend in the knee, you don't have to bend so deep in order to get the same effect. So for example, if I'm here and I just really don't have the energy, I'm probably in some very high heels and girl, I'm not planning to go all the way down here even though sometimes I do. But if you're like me sometimes and you just don't wanna go that low, especially if the outfit is looking cute and you go into like a brunch party, a soca brunch party, you can just move over to the side just shift the weight slightly, right? So it's more so of a shift here than a dip here. So more of a shift than a dip. All right, so we're gonna do that four to this side, four to this side, and we'll do about three sets on each side. So let's try that. And we're gonna alternate, so four, then four, until we reach three sets. And then that would conclude the intermediate segment and we'll go right into the advanced segment of our winding tutorial. So here we go. Three, two, one. Breathe. One, two, three, four. Other side, and yes, I'm going in opposite directions. So I go, the wind goes around and here. Two, three, four. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four. Opposite side, one, that's it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The wine goes around and here, two, three, four. Y'all know one thing about me, I'm gonna have my wine. I am going to have my wine. All right. What you must understand is that when you're in heels, you're not gonna be moving like you're just a regular person. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, Four. Stay down. One. See you next week, Tuesday, for another sexy, sensual Trinidad Carnival prep 2023. It's Chris Corio, baby. Subscribe. <laughs>